Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Jamie Beth. Today we're gonna do another Let's Talk About It. We haven't done a Let's Talk About It in about five hot minutes, so I think it's due, we're, we're, we're due for another Let's Talk About It. In today's Let's Talk About It, we are going to discuss um, something that I get asked a lot. Why doesn't my makeup last all day long? Why by lunchtime does my makeup look like crap? Why do I have red blotchy areas? Why is my foundation coming off? Why, 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 why is it not working? So one of the first things that I'm going to tell you or I'm going to ask you is do you exfoliate? every single day and I will usually get told no and I'll get told well you really shouldn't exfoliate every single day it's not really good for your skin but there are products out there that are um, sensitive to your skin and not as harsh as some exfoliants um, where you can exfoliate your skin on a daily basis. By exfoliating your skin you are getting rid of um, dead skin cells, you're getting rid of dry skin, you're getting rid of added texture that you don't want on your skin. It is very, very, very important to um, exfoliate that and to make sure that your skin is as clean as you possibly can get it. And by doing this, it's going to be a huge game changer for you. Your pro The products that you use are going to go on your skin and stay there so much better as if you, know, you hadn't exfoliated. I'm telling you guys, give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think because I really think that that is a big thing that most people don't do that should and um, you will see results. Number two is um, not using proper skincare. So I'm talking your moisturizers, your creams, your serums, your eye creams. 90% of these products are not suitable to wear under makeup. When you put on your moisturizer, and it, it could be a fabulous moisturizer, it can make your skin do things that you never thought your skin could do. It could just be a miracle worker for you. However, after you put that on and you kind of let it sit and absorb into your skin a little bit, go ahead and rub your hand, your fingers down the sides of your face. Do they feel a little bit oily? Is there residue on your hands? Is there residue on your face? If there is, your makeup is not going to stick. It's not going to last it, because you have that residue and whatnot on your skin. So you want to stay away from those types of um, products that leave that kind of residue on your face. You want to go or move towards more products that are water-based or gel-based and absorb quickly and absorb dry that don't leave a residue on your skin because that residue is preventing that makeup from lasting all day long. Another reason why your makeup is not lasting throughout the day is that you're using too much of a product. So when you put that foundation on, only use a tad bit of foundation. Foundation is not meant to cover up blemishes, red spots, you know, it's not meant to do that. It's meant to give your skin a, a more even tone, but it's not meant to cover up everything. You know, layering that foundation on and not giving it a chance to soak into your skin and to set into your skin, you are doing yourself such a disservice. So what I suggest that you do is take the smallest amount of foundation and try to cover your face with the small amount of foundation. Let it sit, let it set up, let it um, absorb into your skin. And then if you need a little bit more, just work on the areas that um, you might need to have a little bit more foundation on. Um, and if you want to cover up blemishes and red areas and um, things on your skin that you're not happy with, use concealer, because that is what concealer is for, is to conceal things. And again, you only need the smallest amount. You don't need to cake that stuff on your face because it will start to come off. If you put your you know, head on your hand and you notice that you just wiped off a bunch of foundation, if you itch your nose, if you are um, put your clothes on and you know the foundation transfers to your clothes you have too much foundation on 
tone it back a little bit, try using less and see how that wears throughout the day. See if that helps. If you apply a heap of foundation at once, it's not going to have time to adhere to your skin. It's not going to have time to set. And again, you're going to be wiping it off and moving it around and it's never going to look the way you want it to look throughout the day. The next thing that could be working against you is your powder brush. I know it sounds so crazy. It doesn't matter how soft your powder brush is or what the heck it's made out of. What people are doing that isn't benefiting them is they're taking that powder brush and they're swiping the powder on their face. By doing that, you are taking the makeup off your face, you're causing texture, and you're micro exfoliating, which is something that you do not want to do because your makeup by lunchtime is not going to look as nice as it did when you first did it. And that is what we're trying to keep going. We want our makeup to keep on during the day and look nice all day long. We don't want by lunchtime look like we just woke up um, and never washed off our makeup. When you are using loose powder, any type of powder, take your powder brush, dab it into the powder and then just lightly dab your face with the powder and set that foundation in place. It'll do just that. It'll set it in place and it'll look beautiful and it won't look like you just wiped off all the hard work you just did by putting the makeup on. This brings us to the very last thing I'm going to talk about and that is blotting. Blotting your makeup, you're taking little sheets of tissue paper and lightly putting it going over your skin and soaking up that oil so that your skin still looks beautiful and your makeup still looks flawless. I highly recommend that you buy like a little thing of blotters. They're they come in all little shapes and sizes. You can fit them in your purse, but definitely, definitely blot during the day. You are helping your makeup stay on all day long by getting those oils out of there before they even start messing up your makeup. Those are the five common things as to why your makeup does not last all day long. And I hope you took something out of any of the information that I just gave you. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, as well as the notification bell next to it to be notified of all of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!